Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Not RV. On this week's episode, we're gonna talk about the difference between a surge protector, an EMS, and which one is best for you. If you wanna learn more and make less mistakes while RVing, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell below. We're also now on Facebook. We have a great Facebook group growing called Why Not RV. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. We're also on Patreon at patreon.com backslash Why Not RV. And of course, check out our website, whynotrvusa.com. Let's get right into it. So what's the difference between an EMS and a surge protector? So a surge protector is just that, it's a surge protector. Just like what you have your computer plugged into at your regular house, it only protects you against a surge. Now an EMS or an electrical management system protects you against all sorts of things electrical from high voltage, low voltage, frequency, surges, um, everything. So let's talk a little bit more about each one. So what is a surge and how does it happen? Uh, a surge is basically just a massive increase in voltage really, really fast. So uh, one way it can happen is from the electrical company, right? And the electrical company is switching power from you know one grid to another. Um, that can cause a surge in the voltage. Another real, real, real common one is of course lightning. That's the big one that everyone's always concerned about is a lightning strike. You know, happens within a few miles of your campsite, boom, that voltage goes through the roof, causes a surge. Um, another one that's a little less common is major appliances. And with RVs, it doesn't really happen that often, but major appliances like air conditioners and stuff like that, that can cause a surge in voltage as well. Without a surge protector, you're not only putting your RV at risk, but you're putting everything that you have plugged in in your RV at risk. So unless you have a separate little surge protector uh, somewhere inside your RV that say your computer is plugged into, sure your computer is protected, but the washing machine, the microwave, the fridge, the heating elements, the air conditioners, every other outlet in the RV, you know, your fans, whatever you got plugged in, all that stuff is at risk. So a surge protector is vitally important for the safety of not only your RV, but all the stuff inside of it. So you might be saying, okay, a surge protector is all I need. I'll keep myself protected and we're all good. But let's not jump to conclusions here, okay? Let's talk about an EMS and what an EMS does. So an EMS is an electronic or an electrical management system. Being that it controls everything with the electrical system, okay? So it not only protects you against surges, of course, that's the, the standard thing, but also protects you against faulty wiring, such as reverse polarity or an open ground. Uh, it also protects you against high voltage and low voltage. Uh, it also protects you against high frequency and low frequency. And I'm not gonna get too too much into that, but you know, basically every single appliance that's in your RV has a voltage range. So let's just say, for example, your air conditioner, right on it, it'll say, on the data tag up, up on the roof, it'll say acceptable voltage, you know, 112 to 128 or something along those lines. If your voltage goes above or below those numbers, it will damage that uh, compressor or that that electrical system that the ac is rated for so an electrical management system that ems can protect you against high voltage and low voltage and therefore protect that equipment a lot better and a lot more efficiently let's get to a real life scenario i was in michigan and i only had a surge protector on my rv uh, we had a pretty bad electrical storm one night bunch of lightning strikes pretty bad rain and long story short throughout the night i heard my air conditioner all of a sudden making this weird noise and it kind of got quiet and then it got loud again and it got quiet and it got loud again and I immediately knew something was wrong with the voltage. So I ran to the breakers and I shut the breakers off. Apparently it was too late for some other appliances. I managed to save my air conditioners. I didn't get any damage to them. However, my Keurig and my microwave both got fried in that electrical storm because what happened was with those multiple lightning strikes and whatever was happening with the power grid in the area, the voltage was dipping down and pushing back up. So when it dipped down, it was like at like 80 volts and my air conditioner was still trying to run off of 80 volts. And that's why I could hear it like really struggling to run because there just wasn't the voltage there to support its power needs. So fortunately I cut it off before I had before I had issues with the air conditioner because that's really expensive. But again, my microwave and my uh, Keurig fried, gone. Now, the reason the surge protector didn't do anything is because it was just dipping down in voltage. It didn't really have that massive increase over to trip the surge. So after that experience, I switched to an EMS. I got rid of my surge protectors. I went to an EMS system and I did the hardwired built-in system. 
And the reason I did that is just because I wanted it in there. I wanted it secure and safe and I didn't have to worry about it or think about it. Um, a lot of people love the portable versions because you can take that portable and go from pedestal to pedestal to find and make sure that your wherever you're plugging into has correct polarity, doesn't have an open ground. Everything looks good on that pedestal before you go pulling into that campsite. For me, you know, I, I, there, there is an actual little device that you can take with you. It's like 40 bucks. I'll put a link in the description below, um, to check your, uh, individual pedestals. But so far I haven't really had that issue. You come across, uh, you know, a really faulty wiring pedestal every once in a while, but I've heard of RVers going 10, 15 years without ever having a problem. And I've also seen people that in the first week of RVing have fried stuff. So you just really just never know. But I went with the built-in system just because I just don't want to have to think about it. I don't want to have that extra piece of equipment. Um, so mine is built in. But again, the portable versions are just as efficient. They're just as awesome. The only problem is they are now exposed and outside. Someone could steal it. So on those portable versions, there's a little cable lock system, right? There's a little metal ring attached to the uh, wire. And it's designed to put a cable lock through it and then tie it nice and tight to the pedestal or you know, maybe in between the faucet, uh, you know, and, and the, and the wood post or somewhere where you can tie it down to. And that's what that's there for. So if you have a portable version, make sure to lock it up. And again, I'll put a description in the link below to both the portable version, the hardwired version, my little, uh, thing I was talking about where you can just plug into the pedestal and check it. Um, and also a good cable lock that you can get for these things. I hope this gives you a better understanding of a surge protector and an EMS and the difference between the two, and it can help you make your decision on what you need. Now, don't forget, Every single person has a different need, want, and desire. So what I want, a hardwired built-in EMS, is different than what you want. Am I gonna recommend an EMS? All day long, I will recommend Progressive Industries EMS. I love it, they're a great company, they take care of their customers, they have amazing warranty, all that fun stuff. Is there other products out there that are awesome? Of course there are. I don't have any personal experience with them, so I'm not gonna talk about them. Um, so now, and again, hardwired is just what I wanted. You might want the portable just because you you, you, you want to uh, save some money. You want to have that portability to be able to plug it in in different places. Um, I don't know. It's just your call. But figure out what's best for you. I always recommend the EMS and I always recommend Progressive Industries. Again, I'm going to put a link in the description below for those things. That's it for this week's video. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned next week and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.